Okay, so the ST16 ground station uh, comes with your Typhoon H uh, hexcopter uh, from Unique. Um, first of all, when you pick it up, it's reasonably heavy, uh, 1200 grams, and it's not bad. I mean, you can easily hold it with one hand, really not a problem. You're never gonna fly with just one hand, so two hands on it, and now it's sort of, because of it so wide, it seems to actually fit quite well. I, um, I really haven't had a problem with it. I've flown several batteries, which last between 20 and 25 minutes on average, and not had a problem whether I've used the lanyard or whether I've just actually just held it. Um, it, it really, you don't get tired with it. Um, uh, well, I certainly haven't anyway. The, uh, there's, the reason that it's so wide is you've got a, a HD 720 uh, screen here, which is a touch screen, and we're going through the functions of that. Um, if I flip it over, there's a couple of lovely um, sort of grips here, and, which is quite rubberized, so they're, they're really good to, to hold, um, and you certainly feel like you've got a grip on it. The actual strength of it, and I try and twist it, it doesn't twist. It's um, a very good construction, I think. And it's finished in a, a, a sort of a spray-coated uh, matte black. It's not quite rubberized, but to be honest, it's not far off it. It's, uh, it's rather good, I think. Uh, the actual layout of the system I find good. Um, I, I alternate whether I'm a pincher with uh, flying or whether I fly on thumbs. Um, this one I tend to fly on thumbs quite a bit because uh, it just seems to suit the system. Your hands wrap around the back here and you can fly on thumbs. That also leaves your index finger free uh, to alter the switches if you need to uh, while you're flying as well. The only one you can't do is the pan control on the actual uh, camera. You would need to pinch that with finger and thumb. That's the way I do it anyway. Uh, you can't activate it with your with just your index finger. I'm just pointing out things that I've learned as I've been flying and been using it. So uh, these aren't faults. Um, they're just the way it is, to be honest. To activate the uh, video, you simply press the uh, video button here. To activate taking stills, you take a still here. These ones down here, these which you would probably think would adjust uh, trim uh, or be used when you're actually using it in tablet form, um, they're not, they don't do anything at all um, at the moment. Whether or not there'll be a development that will bring something in, but uh, with the original H, these don't actually do anything at all. As I said, switches are handy. You've also got uh, sliders on the side, sort of rotational ones, um, and therefore uh, altering the rates uh, from tortoise to hare, and also for tilting the camera up and down. To start the motors, you simply press this button on the top. It's not got a shield on it like on the ST10 Plus, um, but to be honest, the thing I quite like about it is once you've activated it and you hold it down for three seconds to activate, once you come down to fly, you've, you've got no inclination to get your finger back up there. And if you were going to put your finger up there, I can't physically reach it without sort of wrenching around to do it. So I, I'm hoping you'd be thinking there was a problem with your hand right up there um, and you have to hold it down for uh, two seconds to kill the motors, I think. Um, so, so that's the on and off for the motors. Uh, the landing gear is here, so flick it up and the landing gear goes up and then as you come into land obviously you flick it down. To attach the lanyard you have four um, little clips, so they just simply attach like this. And that gives you a really good lanyard. As you can see, if I put it around the camera, um, you can have no problems with that being in the way. To attach the supplied uh, sunshade, uh, which is a tripod like that, simply just slide that in. Goes under where the lanyard is. And again, this doesn't affect how the lanyard works. It's designed to go around the sunshade like that. Okay, onto the base of the unit now. And you've got a three and a half mil um, jack socket there. So um, basically uh, anything, it's stereo as well. So you can plug in your uh, earbuds or um, external speakers if you wanted to listen to your music. You've got your micro SD card slot there and that goes in I'll just show you that goes in 
contact, contact side up as it goes in but the top of the unit is here obviously and then charging the ST16 couldn't be any easier uh, basically a micro uh, USB uh, socket there and then you can just plug that in and use either a car plug it in with your car or you could use your phone charger or the actual charging station for the Typhoon H uh, battery has a USB uh, connection there so we can just plug that in and charge the actual ST16 while you're charging your H battery. Okay so we're on to the uh, basically the back and the top and um, if you notice there's a, a clover leaf antenna here and a rubber duck or stick antenna here a uh, nice thing is about them they can be easily upgraded or if you want to change them um, because they're just SMA connectors uh, both of them so that's nice and easy you don't have to get into the unit also means there's nothing blocking the signal as well which helps a bit uh, you've got uh, HDMI out um, which is great if you're surfing the web and you just want it up on a big or different screen or if you want someone to be a passenger with you um, they can uh, plug in have an external uh, monitor and they can see what you're flying basically uh, so it's rather good I think got a good carry handle um, this is really solid uh, makes it like a almost like a mini briefcase sort of thing and uh, makes it very easy to cart around while we're at the back uh, of the unit you've got the uh, battery which is a rechargeable battery and it's plug and play as well so if you needed extra power um, you could always get another battery and always carry it along with you so 3.6 volt and 8700 milliamp hour and that's just simply held in like that under the carrying handle as you possibly can hear there's a couple of fans going I assume they were both just exhaust fans uh, but actually on closer inspection and I'll show it to you this way I'll try and hold that feather there, it's not going to stay because that one actually blows out and if I put it there you can see that one actually sucks in so it's actually circulating the air uh, around the processor which I think is brilliant, it's going to keep it nice and cool. Mm -hmm. 